Hey guys, welcome to the movie review of Viral, a 2016 horror film produced by Blumhouse, directed by Henry Joost and Ariel Schulman, and um, written by Christopher B. Landon and Barbara Marshall, starring Sophia Black de Elia, Annalie Tipton, Travis Tope, Colson Baker, and Michael Kelly. Now, by the way, Michael Kelly, he's this rapper, Machine Gun Kelly. And um, Annalie Tipton is an America's Next Top Model alum, I think. Cycle 9, I could be wrong, can't remember. All I know is they ended up going to Denmark or Holland or something. Um, she didn't win. Or did she? Can't remember either. Anyway, uh, so this movie is about a virus that pretty much wipes out, wipes out um, human population. Now, when you watch the trailer, it's going to lead you to believe that the virus is just starting. No, it's a, it had already begun, but this time um, the survivors are put in a quarantine just for their safety. Now, what happens is... During this time, um, during the, this time, a new uh, someone else is infected within the quarantine, and that's how the virus spreads. So, so not only is half of the population already wiped out, but a virus within a quarantined area um, managed to possess—not possess, but basically managed to infect someone in the quarantine area and from there the virus spreads now of course in case you're wondering Annalie Tipton and Sophia Black Delia they play sisters uh, Annalie Tipton is the older one so she's the one who actually initiates throwing a party um, so what happened is the parents are caught in a different quarantine the parents work for the CDC and so they're not able to come back home because they're quarantined somewhere else. So Annalie's like, hey, or, should I call her Annalie or Stacy? I'm, I'm trying to figure, I'll just call her Stacy. So Stacy, the eldest one, um, tells her sister, hey, let's just throw a party. It's okay. Not, you know, let's celebrate. It's not like we're going to do anything bad. Which in my mind, I'm like, in a world, okay, I'm, <laughs> in a world. No, in a world where the population, human pop population has already been depleted because of a virus, you want to throw a party inviting a ton of strangers into your home. Strangers that might be carrying a virus. Now, is this movie a metaphor? I don't know. But in my mind, I'm like, this doesn't make sense. Anyway, so of course... Um, I lost my frame of thought. So, of course, uh, Emma, the youngest sister, played by Sophia Black Dahlia, um, doesn't want to do this. You know, she's the goody two shoes. She's the one who doesn't want to live on the edge while Stacy does. And Emma's like, "Come on, just have a good time. You'll be fine." So she's like, "Okay." Oh, okay, I'll do it. So they end up throwing a party with uh, with a few people they know. And of course, Machine Gun Kelly is in there doing his thing, you know, uh, rapping and playing music. Of course, because he's a rapper in real life. So that's what they should make him in the movie. But anywho. This movie has a lot of like B, C list feeling about the movie, but don't worry, you'll still enjoy yourself, promise. It's not as bad as I'm leading you guys to believe. Anyway, so a person, okay, so someone who's infected manages to find their way into the party, of course, and begins to start infecting people. Next thing you know, the house is filled with the infected, and here's the thing. Excuse me. <sighs> Sorry, I'm doing this review late, late at night, like 3 in the morning. I don't know why, but this is the only time I have time to review. So... 
here's the thing about the virus. It's the virus has the ability to smell pheromones off of our body. Smell like us, which is why if you hold your breath and like wear something to protect yourself, it really can't smell you unless if you fart. <laughs> If you fart, it knows for sure you're there. So do not fart when you're scared. Second of all, oh, that's so funny. Second of all, it leads me to believe. So you mean to say we don't have any kind of like, I don't know, scent or like, I don't know, scent or pheromones that dip that kind of secrete from our from our heart or from our bodies, you know, from our pores. You mean to tell me that like our ears, our eels, our eels, our our ears, it's pretty much an orifice, and so is our our eyes, right? Because I, I don't know, but our ears definitely is an orifice. It's a hole. So do you mean to tell me that this virus cannot sense that? So those kind of things, I'm just like asking myself, you know, like, yeah, interesting. Anyways, uh, so those who are infected are no longer their, their pretty much their brain is being devoured by a virus and they no longer have control over themselves. Sounds like sounds like World War Z to me. Anyway, so here's the thing. Stacy, the eldest, gets infected. She gets blood on her. And the blood has a virus that goes into her mouth and everything. And sh Stacy's trying her best to fight it off. She's trying to hold on. And of course, Emma doesn't want to let her go. And Emma, Emma and her boyfriend are trying to get Stacy to a to the military, so the military can possibly treat her or help her. Instead, the military turns the guns on them because the military doesn't want them to escape. So the military starts shooting them up and like trying to prevent them from going anywhere. And they're like, listen, I'm not infected, but my sister is. You need to help us, please. And the government is a given a thumbs up. Because, okay, so majority of the quarantine now is infected. Majority of the people. So the government's like, you know what? We have no choice but to eradicate everyone in the quarantine. Everyone. <clears throat> so, of course, now they have to... Now they're being bombed and shot at. Uh, they need to find a way to, to escape the quarantine without being shot at and killed. So, after fighting off zombies or virals... Um, or infected people. Uh, after fighting them off and after dodging so many military personnel, they managed to escape via up a mountain. <laughs> oh, gosh. And honestly, we all know that there is no way that Stacy was going to make it. There is no way. She did her best to fight it off, but unfortunately, Emma had to do what she had to do. <sighs> Excuse me, I'm like falling asleep. And Emma ends up shooting, um, Emma ends up shooting Stacy to death. Obviously. And that's kind of the sad part. So this movie has some heart. You know, it's not just some cheap thrill. It There is, there is some goodness to this thing. So, so, oh, okay. So there is a part where there's a part where they're hiding at a neighbor's house and I can't help but think of I can't help but think of season 1 or see early season 2 I don't know maybe season 1 early season 2 of Fear the Walking Dead I hate that show but I still watch it but I hate it so much but in that one, they end up going to a neighbor's, and one of the neighbors is possessed. Or not possessed, is a zombie. And that's kind of a scary scene. Oh. Um. So, yeah, in one of these, in one of the scenes in this one, Emma, Stacy, and uh, the boyfriend, Evan, end up um, going to a ended up barricading themselves into a neighbor's house and there are possessed ones in the house 
and that was pretty freaky um the military is like shooting up like i <laughs> Uh, the military is like literally killing everyone but I guess in an age where fine where like the bigger threat is the infection and all rules and stuff is kind of half thrown out the window including democracy including human rights you know I guess military would do that they'll just shoot to kill no questions asked um what I liked about this movie, I feel like, I feel like Annalie Tipton, and Annalie Tipton, aka Stacy, is doing a did a pretty good job. No joke, did a good job. Um, did a good job in this movie. She gave it her all. She cried. She, in fact, she gave more of a a list. Not a, okay. You know what, I'm giving her too much credit, but it's okay. I'm fine with that. You know, I want to praise a good actress who's doing her best. But but no joke, though. She is giving, like, the best acting out of all the cast members here. I mean, you know what, Sophia Black Dahlia, she's, she's good. Like, she's not, she's not, like, you know, a bad actress or anything. But she's just not pushing the envelope or the envelope. However you say it. She's not pushing the acting envelope. But Annalie is. She's giving it her all. And that's the coolest thing about it. P.S. Did you know she's dating that guy who, who was on that show Limitless Season 1? That was a good show. Can't believe it got cancelled. It was a pretty smart show. I'm so mad. But she's dating that main lead guy over there. And you know I can't help but think that's just the cutest couple. I hope that guy goes somewhere because I know he'll have a future. I just know it. Um, he's a good actor too, and he's kind of charming. And he was he was in some movie. Um, anywho, sorry I went on a tangent. Um, this movie is awesome, so please go watch it. You'll enjoy it. Uh, I will give it a four out of five stars. Now that does not mean this is the most fabulous movie I've ever seen that four out of five it just means for what it is it's doing a great job that's what it means so four out of five um and by the way obviously no one can end the infected people are still infected um our main characters were just able to escape so thanks for listening